GM said these first quarter numbers were heavily impacted by COVID-19. Its first quarter net income down by nearly 90%. Still, the company did manage to turn a profit. Now the focus is on getting thousands of auto workers safely back to the assembly line. Today, General Motors announced it's aiming to restart production in the U.S. and Canada by May 18th, also FCA's target restart date. North American plants have been idled since mid-March due to COVID-19. That's good news for workers in Michigan and Texas and Indiana uh, that work for General Motors. GM has already applied safety protocols at some of its facilities to make sure workers are in line with CDC and World Health Organization guidelines. When anyone enters a facility, they will do a self-assessment questionnaire and they will have their temperature screened. Our protocols also require frequent hand washing, additional cleaning of workstation and common areas, continued physical distancing, wearing a mask, and in some cases, wearing a mask and safety glasses. In response to the restart date, UAW President Rory Gamble says, quote, the companies contractually make that decision, and we all knew this day would come at some point. Our UAW focus and role is and will continue to be on health and safety protocols to protect our members. The pandemic also impacting GM's bottom line. The company announced today it turned a nearly $300 million profit in the first quarter of this year, despite COVID-19, but its earnings are down by $1.8 billion compared to the first quarter of last year. One of the, the, the positives for GM is if you look at their crosstown rival Ford, their report, uh, their first uh, quarter earnings, where they lost $2 billion. I think there is some, some optimism for General Motors. COVID-19's impact wasn't really felt until the middle of March, so experts say the pandemic's full effect on General Motors and the auto industry in general will likely be much more clear in the second quarter earnings report. In Detroit, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.